fact, it does look like Gary Jackson has been the rider that's been penalised. He will be held uh, 15 metres back. Now, what you might not be able to see all around the circuit is there is a light system as well as the tape, so the cat riders can choose to either watch the tape or watch the lights. At the moment, the light is on red. The moment it changes to green, away they go. And as they get underway, the rest of it. Richard Thomas possibly as he goes into that first turn it's Richard Thomas has got the lead but John Hiscock goes around the outside of him they sort themselves out and go down the back straight Richard Thomas tries to get the drive on and as they go past him down that back straight it is John Hiscock that holds the lead as they come around that bottom turn chopping and changing in that second turn John Hiscock goes wide and it's Paul Johnson that's come through Paul Johnson and Mark Bruce to get themselves to the front as they go into that top turn. Gary Jackson has got himself in the second and Gary now looks to go around the outside of Paul Johnson. Drives hard around the outside going into this bottom turn and it is Gary Jackson. I think that has just got the lead as they come off that bottom turn. Paul Johnson on the inside. Johnson is still in there in third place. And Paul Johnson again has got that inside line as they go round that top end and down the bank straight for the last time it is Gary Jackson that now has got himself in front and Paul Johnson has to drop back but you can see that already he's under pressure for that second place as well one more lap to go John Hiscock does need the extra points he'll know that as well as I do and as he goes into that top end he knows that he could do with getting second Oh, Gary Jackson started on uh, 13 points coming into this last ride, so it, it could elevate him high enough. And Gary Jackson gets the win. Paul Johnson in second, John Hiscock in third, and Richard Thomas in fourth.